Tom Luce is the CEO of National Math and Science Initiative. Mr. Luce previously served as Assistant Secretary of Office of Planning, Evaluation, and Policy Development at the U.S. Department of Education. He pre previously served as Chair of the Texas National Research La Laboratory uh, Commission and Chief of Staff of the Texas Select Committee on, on Public Education. He was co-founder of the National Center for Education Accountability, the sponsor of the Just for Kids School Improvement Model, and has served as Chairman of the Board until, until 2005. He also founded the Committees for Just for Kids. He is a recipient of the Center for Nonprofit Management Social Entrepreneur Award and the Dallas Historical Society Excellence in Community Service Award. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'm going to skip over the data portion of my presentation, except for one fact that I think you would find interesting that came out last week, and that is that there are now two Chinese universities that produce the number one and number two um, proportion of American PhDs. In other words, those two universities produce more American PhDs than any United States university. That's what's happening to us in the rest of the world. Uh, we used to rank number one in high school graduation. We now rank 14th. You can go on and on. I think what is unique and what we need to talk about today is, is that, he, as you all know, we have truly a national crisis. But so often we have addressed that national cri crisis with a series of pilot programs. I like to say that we have lit a thousand pilots, but we've never lit the central heating system. And we have to find out ways to take successful programs to scale because we're dealing with 55 million public school children. So efforts must be undertaken to impact a lot of children. That was what was unique about the formation of the National Math and Science Initiative. It was a partnership of ExxonMobil, Michael and Susan Dell uh, Foundation, Gates Foundation, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, IBM participated, Pro Systems. We started with an initial capital of $140 million to take two programs to national scale. I want to show those the first of those programs has already been funded by Congress, the Advanced Placement Incentive Program. But just since we started giving grants a year ago, we have now replicated the Advanced Placement Incentive Program in six states. In one year, we have taken the You Teach Program to 13 universities. What the next map will show you is what we could do in a public-private partnership. We had applications for those two programs from 40 states. So right now, there is a waiting list. There were 28 states that applied for the AP Incentive Program. There were 52 universities that applied to replicate the U Teach Program. And if we could bring together the public sector and the private sector, then the scarce resources the federal government has to deal with would be tremendously leveraged. If Congress, as you know, has not appropriated the American Competes Act, if it were to appropriate additional funding for the AP Incentive Program and the U Teach Program, the private sector is ready to step up and match that investment. In addition, we require of our grantees that they get local matching. So all of a sudden, we could go to national scale if Congress decides to appropriate additional funding for AP incentive and for the U Teach program. What can happen, and I'll show you one example, in the AP program, now in six states, at the end of five years, we will be in close to 500 schools across the country. We will have increased the number of students who are enrolled in AP math and science courses by 350 percent in those 479 schools and we will have increased the passing AP math and science scores by 267 percent. In the U Teach program in 13 universities including two in your state we will have increased the number of teachers graduating with math and science content degrees to 500 from, as you know, in the rising above the gathering storm, for instance, in Maryland two years ago, I think there was one physics teacher who graduated with a content degree. So I think 
what we really need to talk about is how can we take successful programs, whether it be TIs, Raytheons, Mercs, the two we're working on, and come together and take those to scale in partnership with the public sector and the private sector because we can't waste another generation. And we do know that there are programs that work in every school district, in every state, but we've got to start saying we're going to take these to scale. So we're here to say that if the federal government uh, is willing to increase their investment, so is the private sector. I want to show you some of the results on the AP passing scores that justify the estimates I gave you. The numbers I'm going to show you are the AP passing scores in 10 Dallas public schools, an urban school district, African American and Hispanic enrollment 88 percent. Prior to the start of the AP incentive program, there was a total of 157 students that were passing AP math, science, and English courses. There are now 1,468 in those 10 schools. You go to the next chart, it will show you that in that group of students there, they now, there's now 89 students out of 1,000 on the average across those schools who are now passing scores, whereas the national average is 24, the Texas average is 27. In other words, almost four times as many students. So what we have here is a simple but I think critical concept, which is take the programs, take them to national scale, and get the job done now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.